Oh, you have a lot of fun at the red lights. Did you ever kill somebody at the red light? You can do it. They're walking right in front of you, man. Let's kill this asshole, huh? Nah, let him go. Hey, let's kill his broad. Okay, yeah. Nah, fuck it. Let him go. Okay, let's not kill anybody today. Two people saved. Man changes mind. Here's a little red light story somebody told me. Guy's driving along, got someone sitting right next to him, and he goes right through a red light. Pew. Guy says, what are you doing? He said, never mind, will you? My brother drives like this. Goes a little bit further, comes to another red light. Pew. Right through it. What you doing? I told you, will you stop it? My brother drives like this. Comes to a green light, and he stops. What are you doing? Well, my brother might be coming the other way. <laughs> What's the first thing they teach you in driver education? They tell you where to put your hands on the steering wheel. They tell you to put them at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Bullshit, I put mine at 9.45 and 2.17. <laughs> Gives me an extra half an hour to get to work, you know? <laughs> By the way, use everything on your car, you know what I mean? It's yours, fuck it, you paid for the car. Use everything, man. Flip your sun visor, even on a cloudy day. Who knows? Flip it over here, flip it up and down, flip it on the side like the French people do. Flip the other one, even if no one is there. Open the ashtray, push in the lighter, even if you don't smoke. Turn all the knobs, have a lot of fun. Put your hand out the window, tell people to stop. You have power, power, stop, hold on. You stop. So, and then let one person go. Okay, you can go, not you, you go. Okay, hey, fuck it, have a little fun. You paid for the car, you know what I mean? Now, a couple of things That's it for the road, like let's remember not to get behind anybody weird. <laughs> or even somebody mildly weird. You ever been behind a guy whose turn signal has been on for 80 miles? <laughs> and you say, well, maybe he's just really cautious, you know. <laughs> I'm not gonna pull out now, he may go at any moment. <laughs> and you find out later he was going around the world to the left. <laughs> You ever have somebody behind you whose brights are on? Isn't that fun? Someone behind you whose brights are on. Someone who just had his headlights aimed and wants to show you what a wonderful job the mechanic did. You know how you take care of those people, don't you? Slam on the brakes, let them plow right into you, man. Sure put some fucking lights out in a big hurry, I'll tell you that. Let him find his way home, you know what I mean? He got out, he can get home. Another kind of person you don't want to get behind is anybody... slow. <laughs> Boy, that's really good for your arteries. You get behind somebody... Really, really. There are two classes of human beings to avoid in this category. The first one is any woman whose head you can't see in the car at all. Any four foot woman in a Cadillac is certain death. I pull over and take public transportation myself. I'm not fucking with a ghost car, you know? Let someone else flag down the Flying Dutchman. It's not my job. You say, well, maybe it's just coasting. No, I see knuckles. It's definitely not a robot car. And the other type of person, I want to keep these books in balance, the other type of person whom you don't want to get anywhere near, much less behind, any man over 70 wearing a hat. <laughs> Especially a checkered hat with ear laps. In August. Because you know you get pissed. And even if you think you're a pretty cool customer. You know you get pissed sometimes. Don't you wish sometimes instead of having those cute little lights in the front of your car, you had 50 caliber machine guns mounted up there. <laughs> 
I'd cream this cocksucker if I had real ammunition, Mark. <laughs> or you wish you had a rented car for just half an hour. <laughs> so you could bash this asshole and pay the $50 deductible and be done with him, you know what I mean? Just trying to ease him up into second gear. <laughs> or you wish you had a message board that would come up out of the trunk of your car and you could type in any message you like. <laughs> you drive like old people fuck. <laughs> Slow and sloppy. You ever been driving through heavy downtown kind of traffic, you know, block to block, street to street, busy area, not freeway, but street to street, people backing out at five o'clock, busy stuff, maybe it's winter and it's dark already and it's raining a little bit, got the window open, you can hear the rain, you can hear the traffic, people bumping into each other, got the radio on, got the windshield wipers going, so everything's happening at once, radio, windshield, rain, traffic, everything going on, you're just trying to get across town and take care of something, you know, and you get over there and park the car, turn off the key and go inside, take care of the business, and you come out and you turn on the key, and the goddamn radio is this loud! <laughs> Could I possibly have been listening to that? <laughs> you know I believe someone broke into this car and tampered with my volume control. And that's the only thing they touched. Here's something you'll be doing tonight. This is one you do all the time. If you get in the car, you're committed to do this following thing over and over. When you're driving, you have to decide which car to get behind at the red light. <laughs> There's a block to go. There are three lanes to choose from. It's completely up to you to decide who's the really fast asshole in this group up ahead. Just a couple of things to remind you before I tow this trusty little thing back to the garage. A couple of things that go without saying, that's why I'm going to say them. Uh, first of all, when you're driving, let's all keep in mind, when you're driving and you come to the scene of an accident, for God's sake, slow down and try to find out what's going on. <laughs> and if you can't see enough, ask the policeman to bring the bodies over a little closer to your car. So would you bring him over here? My wife has never seen a man shaped in quite that manner. <laughs> That's what they're here for, to protect, to serve, and to bring the bodies over a little closer to the car. <laughs>